Hi, I'm Dave from Boynaband.com, and welcome to the final day of my 7-day song tutorial on drum and bass. Yesterday we added in some sweet effects to make the track more interesting. Since then, I've added in a few more fills and I'm almost finished with the track. Today I'll explain mixing and mastering for drum and bass, then I'll play the full finished version of the song for you to listen to. OK, let's begin. I find the best way to mix is to introduce elements one at a time. So I'll start with the beat, for example, like solo out the two beats we've got. And then I'll introduce the sub bass, the reese bass, the lead, and just go through the whole section each time, making sure you can hear everything in the mix and that the most prominent elements are loudest. And what I aim for is for the master level to not go into the red. When mixing, it's generally best to cut volumes rather than boost them. Also, make sure you're mixing without the mastering suite on. You should make your song sound ace without mastering, then when you add it, it will sound even better. You might feel by taking volumes down that you're reducing the power of the track. If this is the case, then turn up the volume on your speakers so you can still feel the power rather than turning up the volume on your drum beat. Make sure you listen to the track at several volumes, though, and on different speaker systems. Mixing drum and bass on computer speakers is just not going to work, since you can't hear the sub-bass at all. Similarly, don't mix on a system with a big subwoofer if you can help it. That will make you turn the bass down too much to compensate for how loud the sub is making the bass. A system with what is called a flat response, where no frequencies have any more prominence than usual, is best for mixing. Obviously not everyone has access to this, so the next best thing is to listen to the song on as many systems as possible, and see what needs changing on each. So a few rules of thumb. The drums should be loudest. If you look at the waveforms of any drum and bass, you'll see that the kick and snare are much louder. Like, here, I've got Pendulum's Hold Your Colour as an example. Take a look at the beats. They're at least 20-30% louder than the rest of the track. Also, another trick that they've used is that here's the drop. It's much louder than the uh, the intro beforehand. So a good trick is to export the track, then take it into an audio editor and reduce the levels of the verses so the drop is louder. Back to our song though. Once I've mixed the track, then the reason has the M-Class mastering suite, which is really handy for bringing the track up to that professional level. So I'll just show you what it sounds like with without the suite, and then with it. So with that, with, you can hear that it just compresses it. So let's have a look at what it's doing. It, um, yeah, as I say, it compresses it nicely. Um, it reduces the high end a bit by around the 10 kilohertz level and gently boosts the low end and also applies some brick wall limiting to control the level. There are a few different presets that are pretty good if you click on the combinator. There's the uh, hip hop setting is quite good and bass and drum as well but I like de-digitizer best I think. So okay with that out of the way sit back and take a listen to the finished drum and bass seven day song. Feel free to post your song as a video response and I'll give it to listen and make any suggestions I can think of to help you improve it. Here's the final drum and bass seven day song.
Ace. I'm really happy with that. Chances are I'll be playing it at gigs with my band Yuma Army. Thanks so much for following along with my 7 day song. As with the last one, it's been a lot of fun, and I look forward to the next 7 day song project. If you haven't already seen my 7 day song dubstep tutorial, you should check that out as well, since a lot of the techniques can be used in drum and bass too. Remember to post suggestions under my weekly video blogs for new tutorials, and head over to boinaband.com to check out my other tutorials and blogs. Cheers for watching! If you found this tutorial useful, help me out by rating this video, or posting a comment so other people can find it. And don't forget to check out my website, boyinaband.com. Have a nice day!